Good morning. Thought I would give you an update on the status of my uh, Duracell um, mineralized wood fiber and cement powder ICF block. Eight months ago, I started a um, test to see what the capillary action through the product would be. I set up a um, a uh, aquarium water pump. Uh, this blocks block sits down into uh, the bucket on top of uh, some uh, pedestals that are above the uh, water level, and the pump will uh, was continuously uh, bringing moisture or water along this edge and allowing it to uh, absorb the top uh, surface of this outer uh, panel and percolate through down into uh, back into the tub below. I believe this test made the manufacturer nervous. Uh, they indicated that it was a totally unrealistic set of circumstances that would never be uh, found uh, in a installed uh, situation, uh, that there would never be this amount of moisture um, attacking the outside surface of the block. Um, I'm happy to say that uh, it has passed with flying colors. Uh, so unrealistic or not, it has uh, some really great uh, anti-capillary uh, properties. If we uh, have a look, we can see that the surface is uh, is still wet. Um, I've just raised it out of the out of the test chamber. If we look at the moisture content, uh, we're at uh, basically 100% within. Uh, about half of my prong depth um, but if we now look at the side profile of the block and I'm just going to relocate here and uh, give you a better view here we can see that this outer panel yeah it's it's wet and I'm going to get the same uh, I'm at about uh, 30 percent, you know, 70 percent there. It really depended on where the holes were, what the wettest areas were. But if we go in even to a little bit, we can see we're down to 19 percent if I penetrate. If I go down to past where the insulation is, and I am just at the uh, the connecting webs. I'm at 16.6, I'm at 19. If I go back to the inside panel, I'm at 18.6, uh, and I'm at 20. So you can see that uh, even with a, a fairly uh, aggressive test, 100% uh, uh, wood moisture content on the outside panel. Uh, by the time we get to the inside panel, we're basically within the safe zone. Um, probably the moisture level up higher is more realistic. That's at 16 and a half because at the bottom side, uh, that was on top of the the blocks that were inside the container, as you can see there. And sometimes those were within uh, a quarter of an inch or a half an inch of the uh, the water table because I would overfill the water. Uh, as the water would evaporate out, I would have to keep on uh, putting in new water. And there's times that I did overfill this. There's even times where I overfilled it to the point where the water table uh, was actually touching the bottom of, of these blocks. And I think just the uh, the action of bringing it out, you can see that it's wet right here. Uh, the action of bringing out sloughed water around so that it, it touched the bottom. So if we, we look at a more realistic number, uh, at the top where it doesn't have that influence of being too close to the body of water, uh, we can see that uh, we're at 16%. I'm going to try to fully uh, embed this. 
we're at 18.2%. Uh, so it's re responded quite well. The real proof, and I'll just take you around, is to look at our test piece of paper. And you can see that the majority of it is still basically pristine. Uh, there is some deterioration down here. That was, as I said, created when I overfilled the test chamber and the water was actually, uh, had actually come up to about this level. Um, but this has been here for eight months and you can see that there's there's no moisture uh, effect to the majority anything basically above here there's been no moisture effect uh, to this whatsoever the other thing that's nice to see and i'll take us back is uh, there's absolutely no fungi growth on this whatsoever it has been uh, leaching out the uh, the concrete um, um, salts uh, that are in the cement powder. You can see that the uh, water, you may be able to see or may not be able to see. I'll see if I can... Uh, you can see it is uh, kind of a, uh, a yellowish uh, stain. Um, that's just um, um, dye uh, that's, or coloring that's come from the cement powder and from the manufactured product. Um, you can see that there's no algae in the water. Uh, there's no uh, there's no algae or, or fungi buildup of any sort on the the piping. Uh, it's it's actually uh, responded very well. So this is good news. It, it, it generally means that the product doesn't support capillary reactions. So any water that the exterior panel of the block sees will not be transferred uh, through to the interior of the wall. Uh, but the test is somewhat uh, unrealistic because as you can see from above we've got a hollow core block. So the next part of the test will be to fill this uh, full of concrete to see if the concrete itself helps uh, promote capillary action through the block. And I'm going to do it uh, exactly the way it is situated now where we've got an un uninsulated bay uh, for say the R8 um, configuration of the 10 inch block or the insulated uh, portion which would be a, a, I think a R12 or something like that uh, configuration of the block that I'm planning on using. This is a much larger block that I'm using but uh, the same principles uh, would apply. So uh, in a few months time we'll uh, remeasure this and see what effect the uh, concrete in the core has on the capillary action of the block. Thanks for watching.